Hello everyone, you're in Endurance Laser Lab. In this video, I am going to present you our first water chiller for CO2 laser. As you know, all CO2 lasers require their water in the system to be cool enough, cold enough to operate properly. The optimal temperature for most CO2 laser is between 18 and 22 Celsius. So, for example, we have a temperature right now in our office almost 20, uh, yeah, 22.5, 23 Celsius. And this is already hot enough to operate a CO2 laser without additional cooling. So, uh, it's, it's, uh, this is Biamo Flux uh, laser and it has its own... Uh, cooling system. We call it passive uh, cooling, so it has uh, no chiller inside, so it has just a water tank where you have uh, this water uh, uh, goes from the tube and back uh, to a tank. So no extra, and there is just a fan over there, but if the temperature in the room, in the space where you operate the laser is, uh, for example, 20 to Celsius, you cannot make the temperature, water temperature, less than that. So let me show you what we have inside. We have two AC DC uh, power supplies. We have a water tank over there, and we have uh, two tech uh, coolers on one side and two tech coolers with external uh, heat sink. So we have actually four tech cooler plates and four heat sinks with four uh, very effective fans. I will not spend too much time explaining how tech cooling is working, but uh, let's just show it in action how our water chiller is working with active uh, CO2 laser. Okay, let's turn on the machine. That's taking off. Okay, we have for each Piltia, for each tech cooler, uh, its own switch, and we have voltage and current for each, uh, each Piltia. So we set up uh, with optimal parameters just to make sure that all Piltias are working uh, on maximum efficiency. So after five well, minutes we have temperature water temperature 17 Celsius and it's keep uh, dropping so 16 Celsius is okay and we can start uh, doing a laser test so what we're going to do is to run a uh, uh, laser CO2 laser full power so we're not cutting or engraving anything it's polished aluminum and as you know CO2 laser cannot do anything. So the thing is, we, we want to control the temperature in the water uh, inside uh, the tube. And you see that tube is, uh, uh, the color of the tube changes. So it means that the uh, laser uh, is working. So you can see it over here. And keep in mind that you need to wear goggles all the time you operate the laser even uh, scattered or laser radiation can be dangerous so we have uh, yeah, the temperature decreased a little bit 21.5 let's see what temperature we have uh, in our system yeah we just uh, decided to restart uh, the uh, g code the previous one was set up on 50 percent power now it's 100 uh, percent power and let's do this test for like six minutes and see if the temperature, uh, the water temperature changes. Oh well, in my, uh, under our previous experiments, it was stable. So uh, if the room temperature is something like 20, uh, 25 Celsius, then we, our chiller can stabilize the water temperature below uh, below that so something like uh, 20 uh, 18 20 something like that so you see that it's slightly increased uh, let's wait for another 
uh, another few minutes. Okay, so after a few more minutes, the water temperature slightly increased, so now it's 18 Celsius. Let's wait for another few minutes. Okay, we have uh, 19 Celsius. So just keep in mind that once the laser is working, uh, the efficiency of tube is about 20%. So that means that 30 uh, watt uh, CO2 tube generates at least 150 watt of heat. So that's the amount of heat uh, we need to remove and to uh, cool down. Okay, so the temperature yeah, was just 20, oh, okay, now it's 20 and it'll be dropping to 19. Yeah, so that 20 is a stable temperature, so that allows you to work with the laser and operate it in optimal temperature. Um, the tank that we're using water in, in our uh, chiller uh, the volume is about a liter, so uh, not big enough, we can actually increase. And you'll see once the uh, laser stops working, the temperature will, will drop significantly. Yeah, so it should go down. Oh, okay, so now you see it's uh, so, uh, 19 and it'll go down to probably like 15 or 14, we'll do more tests. So hope that you like this video. Now you know about our tech uh, water chiller, that it's really, really good solution for uh, CO2 lasers. We'll keep you updated uh, and you can learn more about our chiller on endurancelasers.com and visit our online store endurance-lasers.com. If you have any questions, let me know. My email is gf at endurancerobots.com. Have a great and wonderful experience with all endurance products. Bye-bye.